This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's talk about something else that's happening in this era. TSN's off the record is a big hit with wrestling fans in Canada and China made a appearance there on November 1st and she rips Trish Stratus saying she had no talent. She had no ability. She just hired based on her looks. And then she does a 180 when they bring up Stephanie McMahon and she's just smartly praising the boss's daughter. And, uh, then of course they bring up her spat she had with, with Rena Mero on a television program years prior. And she said that Mero's problem was she thought she was bigger than the business. Of course, she's talking about Sable was China one to go out here and, and stir up controversy that was planned or unplanned or sort of shoot brother. Or what do you remember about her appearance here? And was this something you had to keep an eye out on? She was a loose cannon and she was. Uh, unstable at times, Joni. Uh, and I spent a lot of time with her, especially the last year she was there, uh, you know, trying to negotiate a contract. You know, she felt very strongly that she should be paid as much as Stone Cold. Uh, and so she had a heightened uh, uh, evaluation of her own work. How you can say Trish Stratus had no talent shows your misguided uh, assumptions and, and, and analogies. Trish Stratus was a great star and she worked her ass off to get better. You know, I know Ron Hutchinson trained her. She had a lot of good talents there in Toronto that, that helped her with her entering stuff. She kept evolving to Trish. She had a wonderful look, you know, I hired Trish and largely because what attracted me was her look. Uh, she looked, she had that Trish or excuse me, that uh, Pamela Anderson feel. And Pamela Anderson at that time was hotter than donut grease. Uh, so <laughs> she just was, man. So, uh, I don't know that, that to me, Joni discredited her, discredited her own takes by saying something so absurd. And then, uh, and I never thought Rena thought she was bigger than the business. Rena was new. She was green. We've talked about it. We did a great show on Rena. On say, well, fans go back and retrieve that and watch and listen to it. Uh, but yeah, I thought Joni kind of, I thought she discredited herself and she made her opinions l- worth less by saying such ridiculous things, uh, that just had no semblance of truth or fact. She was, je- she was jealous. She was, un- she was uncomfortable. Hey, look, you think that we didn't hire, you think we hired Joni because it had nothing to do with her look. Are you kidding me? So she's saying that Trish got hired because of her look. Why the hell did Joni, did you think you got hired? Right. So it just a lot of inconsistencies, jealousies, professional jealousies. Uh, you know, there are social things that were happening in Joni's life that she was not happy with her relationship with triple H, et cetera, et cetera. So she was misguided and uh, I'm not saying that in an evil mean spirited way to speak ill of the, of the dead. But it, it, if you just look at the statement and look at all, con- all aspects of it, Conrad, uh, Joni was way off base. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.